the Galactic Free Press Update. Massive energy movement is occurring. Bringing humanity home. Energy and event update. Greetings, love beings. For those who are awake and aware, this coming week is going to be very, very powerful in many ways. The energy of love is going to be rising on this planet. In such a contagious way, many will become overwhelmed with this much intensity of light. What's fascinating about all this as well is the amount of tornadoes in the United States since the beginning of 2013. Over 100 documented, including several this weekend. One, an F4, which is very, very powerful. This is a lot of wind energy movement. Here in Mount Shasta, it's been beautiful and sunny with a lot of wind movement as well. Our prayer flags, which hang out on our porch, have been blowing the energy right out to all of you. The intense wind is just one example of how much energy movement we have. Coupled with a swarm of quakes in the Santa Cruz Islands and now in Nevada, as anticipated, the energy movement has definitely kicked up quite significantly since our kickoff into February. Quoted from Sandra Walters, The upcoming week holds many opportunities for the acceleration of the ascension process. If you have done your homework and have prepared well, February is going to be amazing. Energies may have felt very strange last month because we were, and still are, adjusting to zero point time. This is why so many felt like everything stopped in January, barely any movement forward. If you attempted to plan things, you may have felt like forces were keeping to were working to keep you in a standstill or a suspended state. If you surrendered to it, life was much easier. The collective sense of anticipation is accurate for this week's accelerations. February is already delivering the 5D blissy frequencies, filling up the space that we cleared along this path to ascension. This is a great payoff month for the masters. The natural kind of DMT is now kicking in, which can leave you grinning all day long. Gratitude is on overdrive. The love. Oh my goodness, I am so in love with everything and everyone. Unity consciousness is supreme light intelligence. And now we understand why. The adjustments going on may include huge expansion, sensations in the chest, heat, golden light visions, star or sun birthing visions through the heart, tightness in the high heart, or feeling like you can't take a deep breath, thymus fluttering, burning eyes, singing ears, leg and arm zings, more head shape changes, sharp poking sensations or pressure in the skull, and blasts of 5D bliss radiating out of your heart center. Also, a throbbing or vibration through the spine, disc by disc, is associated with golden solar disc activation. That is just the physical sensations. And I don't need to repeat how vital it is to keep calm, clear, and rested if you need to. So let's move on to the multidimensional symptoms. Some may be experiencing the heart center as star sensations. It feels overwhelming sometimes. The grace, the love, and light is so magnificent. The sun gods, return of the Christ, all of this is birthed through the heart. The core of your beingness is gold. The human genome and all of its codes and templates reflect that. However, the heart center is the only place this magnificence can enter through. Any other organ, chakra, or system is incapable of bringing in that higher light. 
It's like a safety mechanism. That frequency can only come through an open conduit. A heart aligned with the high interests of all concerned. As February delivers supreme light frequencies, breathe them in. Welcome forth the master, the crystalline consciousness. Share your gifts. We now get to show humanity what is possible. End of quote. Daniel Borden with the Earthrise Report. It has been a long time since I've done an Earthwise report. Many things have happened since the day I woke up. After December 21st, 2012, I have come to realize we create our own miracles. We save ourselves. Much clearing happened in January. My 17th birthday has now come and passed. Several days ago, I received a vision of the sun of full Christ light. On the 13th day after my birthday, I saw the sun as all the colors of the current light spectrum. After wanting a lot of snow in my area for a long time, it happened. A major blizzard occurred in the northeast from February 8th to the 9th. My area received over a foot and a half of snow. I was so happy that my wish was manifested. Recently at the Solomon Islands, there has been several big earthquakes with many aftershocks. There is so much clearing going on across the planet. On February 11th, there was rain to melt the majority of the snow. There is forecast, though, for even more snow this week, and even a chance of another major snowstorm in the northeast based on how the developing storm goes. I do want more snow, and this time for it not to melt for a while. The weather in New England is nice. New England can represent the wind of change. From the revolution of 1776 to having four seasons in one day. This year of 2013 is something of change like the revolution of 1776. I refer to this year as the revolution of 2013. Both years are aligning perfectly with each other. Everything is coming together as one. Unity is coming. From freedom to liberty to justice to love and to everything else for the higher good and what is best for humanity. This month is a clearing month to get focused on what is happening. It is indeed time for a grand awakening on this planet. End of quote. Quoted from Wes Anik. I'm Wes Anik, and I am happy to begin taking responsibility for the condition this world is in, so that we will be that much closer to working toward fixing it. I have committed myself I have given my life over to serving this planet and humanity and bringing in the new world in the ways I have discovered I can best do. And I invite you to do the same. The best thing about this revolution is that everybody on the entire planet is invited. End of quote. In the past 48 hours, we have been experiencing very intense energies with a lot of movement. Many other many are feeling the exaltation from these energies as well. Some also have been experiencing heavy clearing. The transformation is clearly underway. With this much energy movement at a quick pace, we highly recommend staying grounded, centered, calm, clear and remember to breathe. Being present requires a complete surrender to the unknown, which is the love energy every moment. It exists in the unknown. As you choose this, love chooses you as well. Then, the dance of creation begins. Quoted from Valerie Donner 
We are living in such profound times. Although for many the desired manifestations of December 21st, 2012 failed to reach their expectations, I know that a huge shift has occurred. I have never felt so close to Prime Source. The love that I feel for the Creator and for myself continues to keep me in awe. As one of my students said, we are creating heaven all around us. Other ways in which I experience the shift is timelessness. The ability to instantly manifest when in prayer or meditation while being in touch with Prime Source. Loss of desire for certain foods. A closer relationship with the Masters. As we are becoming more of our authentic selves and they are too in relation to us. The need for more rest and sleep. The importance of watching our thoughts. More love connections through the heart. Greater transparency of self and others. An inner calling for doing more of what I came to do, but still waiting for the guidance. A sense that nothing is happening, yet that everything is coming together. And that the observation that the old 3D world is continuing to fall away. On February 6th, we had the Master De Joie Kuo for our monthly meeting with the Master's class. His energy was very powerful and present. This is what he said. There is a big explosion of light across this land. You cannot escape the truth. All of us Masters are with you, coming and going and helping where we are needed. We are helping calm Mother Earth. We are holding her steady. There are new rules to play by, and the old ones no longer exist. I am coming back to help give you strength and courage. You know me. It is your underlying duty to serve your Creator. There is much more for you to do, so use your telepathy and see where help is needed. There is a strong fraternity of lightworkers that are coming together to do good deeds. Be as straight as an arrow on your path. Follow your inner direction's implicity, explicity. <laughs> Surrender as the world turns. End of quote. Just as we anticipated, events are beginning to unfold in the 3D illusion, which are victories for the light in the bigger picture. Yeehaw, everyone! The first domino has now fallen. An example of this was the Pope resigning in a surprise announcement. We feel due to the increased light on the planet and the new earth energies. We understand he is old and they have to choose another one. But it's been 600 years since the last time this occurred. It is odd that he is doing so on February 28th. Why did he not do this in January, or even wait till after the most highly anticipated ev event of Easter for the Catholic rel religion? Although we did hear they were going to try to get one in before Easter. But it remains that they meet for 40 days to choose their new Pope. From the bigger picture, this event matches all of the information many of us, including many other visionaries, energy receivers, have been receiving and feeling about this month. You can feel change in the air. We do have massive energy movement happening. Quoted from Bill Ballard, Well, the Pope resi resigned, and his last day will be February 28, 2013. Carl Boudreau, a renowned astrologer, stated February 18th through the 28th will be a time of great shift. Again, my messages 3.5 years ago was that February 22nd would be a time of great shift. The Mayan elders state that February 19th, something big can come forth in the energies as to looking at the, their calendar system. Well, so much for the lull we were in, <clears throat> that certainly has shifted. 
There are some very dark prophecies that are linked to this last pope that will be taking Benedict's place. It does not have to happen as foretold. Just like the Gulf oil spill being the biblical bottomless pit, Revelations 9, and the Hopi seventh sign. The original visions I had was far worse. Together, <clears throat> we can hold the energies to ease this shift. And that great dark focus that so many unawakened persons hold of the end times. It's time. It's time now. We need everyone awake and aware and on board for shifting into the new earth. The time has finally come. Yes, yes, yes to love. End of quote. Quoted from Lucas from Lu Lucas Infos, the wonderful news of the resignation of the Pope has reached us. I have personally spoken the last two months about this, preluding the change of the governments and the exposure and breakdown of the financial institutions. We may celebrate the planet soon. We may celebrate, as the planet soon will be cleared of the old system and control. End of quote. It is happening, everyone, and this cannot be denied. The collective of light, which has grown extensively, is far grander than the illusion on this planet, which is why we are now shifting so quickly. In the coming days, weeks, and months, this will become increasingly apparent. The old is dying, and this includes all of the entire old paradigm. Quoted from Solara on Ra, Message from the Star Councils of Light. Trust that you are the change, light people of the new earth, and that your world is changing as you read this. The old structures are falling. Old ways of deception and control are collapsing and being revealed. And the new children of earth will no longer allow ways of being which are not integrity to hold sway. If you choose to blunder along, complaining that things are difficult and that nothing has changed, then this will be your reality. And your path will be rocky if you keep your blinkers on. Simply step through the fear of what, what might be if you choose to take chances and to believe that it really is true that the age of light for the new earth is now dawning. And you will step out of the shadows of your own creation and into the light of what is. And so it is. End of quote. If you are going through clearing right now, this is preparing your energy fields for the upcoming alignment with the asteroid and the largest planet-wide meditation this planet has ever seen. All higher selves, plus all of our craft, the planets, and everybody throughout creation will be participating with us in this energy. We are ready. Love is rising. Quoted from Steve Bacow about the One Billion Rising event, which is a mass global meditation party celebration on Thursday, February 14th. We are a day away from our greatest opportunity to date to realize our common humanness, our global citizenship, and our team Earth membership for the purpose of building a planet that works for everybody. We are a day away from taking up the opportunity to express our love and gratitude for Gaia, the, the archangelic spirit who moves and motivates this physical form we call Earth. We are a day away from declaring that will no longer allow inequality on this planet. We are a day away from taking cognizance of our existence and being as a human collective, united in saying no to oppression and exploitation wherever it is found. We are a day away from standing up as one planet 
and telling those who've instituted and institutionalized such agreements and arrangements that will no longer live under their rule and that will bring such a social order down if we need to and build a new one based on unity peace and true equality we are a day away from coming together as one planet such a gesture is recognized in the higher realms as an expression of global free will. Such a gesture frees the hands of higher dimensional beings to help us bring in and realize global abundance, world peace, and total equality. We are a day away from asking for our inheritance of love and compassion from a willing and joyous creator who simply awaits our doing so before opening the floodgates of beneficence and abundance. We are a day away from acknowledging our power within true equality as one planet and our willingness to forgive and our, our desire to move forward into a new era as a galactic society. We are a day away from expressing our desire to unite with our star brothers and sisters who've come here and midwifed this successful evolution of love which is liberating our planet and is setting it on the road to galactic citizenship in the federations and the councils of love end of quote we have shared in previous updates a lot of shifting is taking place now at a fast pace many are awakening to the higher grid or are now walking upon the path which magnifies the grid and awakens more of humanity as this occurs the light intensifies and strengthens we have many stages of awakening or in some cases sleeping occurring simultaneously amongst the collective on this planet in these moments ranging from full consciousness which is the unified field of energy to of course the 3d illusion duality this incoming energy and alignments is bringing us much movement to the higher or next stages and into the next higher frequencies. This will intensify for many in the next 72 hours and forward. All are now beginning to align with the one unified field. Quoted from Gaia Portal Update. Sentience among all Gaia components is increasing. Such components include 3D representations, earth, air, water, plant, animal, and human. Communication with higher D aspects of each of these is now enabled, so that all of humanity, the small h, can discover their humanity, their rainbow body. Discomfort may be experienced by some as alterations and adjustments to perceptions are carried out. These are necessary and required for the humanity to humanity group transition to occur. Occasional periods of intense tiredness may also be experienced. These are caused by DNA transformations and adjustments to incoming higher energies. We suggest pauses in daily routines as these arise. Resting, napping, and or meditation are helpful. Gaia energetic influx limitations have been declining gradually over this past year. Subsequent to the 1221 to 1231 12 upgrade period, limitations were at a minimum level. These limitations have now been removed. Ascension of humanity consciousness levels, as well as humanity, re release of limitations, has permitted these removals of energy influx limitations. Gaia is now subject to the full impact of cosmic higher light. Humanity is aware of this, and the humanity with the small h should prepare to be surprised. Quoted from Maline Lafont, Welcome to the next chapter, the chapter of enlightenment, renewal, and communication. We are all one and I now intend a massive change to occur on the earth plane which will clarify much on earth leading up to a smooth evolution 
and to a planet of being based on clarity. End of quote. The end of the road for the illusion has finally arrived. A new day is dawning, one based on truth, unconditional love, peace, true abundance, true equality, joy, and authenticity. There is nowhere left to hide for the ones in the shadows. Decreed by heaven, it's the end of the road for all lower frequencies on planet Earth, equal heart. Massive energy movement is underway. Transformations to DNA are also occurring. This is the divine plan manifesting now on planet Earth, equal heart. Thank you for spreading these messages to others and keeping your hearts open and staying tuned in. You can join us Thursday, uh, February 14th for the Mass Global Meditation. Uh, the first one will begin at 11, 11 a.m. Pacific and 1, 1 p.m. Pacific. Let's blast the light and make way for an easy transition into the new earth equal heart. You can visit our website at soundofheart.org to get the link for the room. And transmission and all love is unconditionally. We are so in love with humanity. Love the Galactic Free Press staff, Humanity's Earth Allies, the Company of Heaven, and the First Contact Ground Crew Team.